Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, in today's video, I'll be talking about something that I get requested by quite often. So I decided this time around I'll actually make a video talking about it. So, uh, since I think two weeks ago, Gearbox kind of, and 2K I guess, announced that they're not going to be doing any more uh, hotfixes, or at least they're going to make them so infrequent. Uh, and a question came out of that, and that is if mods are ever going to become a thing for Borderlands 3. Now I can see, tell you with uh, almost 100% certainty that they are kind of a thing already. Uh, they have been since the game's been released. I guess the cat's out of the bag now. Um, and whilst... Whilst we're waiting for like modding to improve a little bit before we can like do anything official, especially after the fourth DLC kind of came out, um, like right now, uh, you can you can do almost everything inside of Borderlands Three, uh, whether it be removing mayhem modifiers. Hell, there's even like a Borderlands Three randomizer that's out there that randomizes the guns and even enemies to a certain extent. Um, we're waiting for like the mod tools to improve a little bit because the infrastructure, whilst it's there, it's like, it's uh, it could certainly be improved. Um, and we're waiting for the SDK to kind of be developed and finished because right now the uh, the SDK is fine, it works, or but it has a lot of crashes. Like, it has like probably like 700 issues, and we're trying to make it into 10. I'm not developing anything. Uh, I'm certainly just, or I'm just uh, the middleman, I guess. I'm just a person who delivers things, I guess. Uh, it's mostly thanks to Dark Hell and like all the other people inside uh, my Discord server that are helping with the modding things. And of course, obviously, we want modding to be something that's not cheating. Uh, we want it to be something just like Borderlands 2, where you add just more content to the game. Uh, that's kind of what we want to be. Um, you know, it'd be nice to have me without modifiers or even redo the whole anointment system. Or, or you guys, let me know in the comments what you guys want. But uh, I'd certainly expect mods to kind of be a thing at late 2020 or even early 2021. Uh, at least before the fourth skill tree is going to come out. Um, uh, but yeah, no. Uh, this is more of like an update video, especially because um, I sadly have been a little bit busy, which is why I haven't been uploading. Um, but hopefully I can improve on that regard. Um, I know that there are fourth skill trees coming and yeah, quite excited about that. I can't wait. Um, but yeah. Um, I guess, I guess another thing is, um, you know, as, as I said, we're, we're just waiting for mods to be more stable right now uh, and more user friendly because I'm pretty sure you got, all guys uh, are gonna ask on how to even install mods and yeah, we want it to be super friendly, we don't want it to be complicated or anything. Uh, but yeah, this is just an update video. Like, like you guys are answering the questions um, that people had. Uh, the build I'm using right now is just a build I made with Clone Zane. Uh, it's pretty amazing. It's a light show and an old god <laughs> with a pearl. And I got the Seeing Dead from him too with action skill damage. And it's great. Kills jackpots in two seconds. <laughs> Mayhem. Uh, anyways, uh, leave a like if you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. I'll try to answer them as I see fit. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.